Hello YouTube land. So tonight, uh, well, today, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose this code. When the truck came in, this code was inactive, but when the driver put a load on the on the truck, this code would go active. It's 4726, and it's saying engine fuel leakage. Now, <clears throat> this is in the common rail system, and I'll show you how to test for this, right? Now, this don't have to be this all the time, but this is what I end up changing. This is the fuel, fuel rail pressure relief valve. This is on the back of the fuel rail. I'll show you, but in the meantime, I'll show you how to perform the test on this comments. So, this is just a snapshot I took there. I'm going to close that out. So, I already have this set up already. Right? So, I opened up... Um, so, I opened up this and I made a custom page to just measure the fuel rail right and so you to do that you're going data monitor and i am measuring just the fuel rail pressure that's all i need to know then you're going ecm diagnostic i already have that open up already and you can set this page up like this we okay you go up here and you click this button up here right and you go down to fuel system leakage test now I didn't do a video of this I wish if I did but you go in fuel system leakage test and you let you press start and you watch the fuel pressure you can do it from here too but once you shut the engine off you have to shut the engine off when I get to 29,000 psi so once you shut the engine off this would cut off so that's why you open up the data monitor you're going to monitor that up until they get to 29,000 psi and what you're going to do you're going to quickly turn the key off and as soon as the engine shut down you put the key back on so the ignition light would be on make sure the ignition is on right so we're going to go up to 29,000 psi right there you shut the engine down and you see 29,400 psi this is not supposed to drop more than 4,350 psi so so this is not supposed to go down past 20 25,000 say 25,500 psi in one minute it's supposed to hold this pressure. It's not supposed to drop more than 4,350 PSI. Now, when I did this test previously, this was just falling out completely. Like, it was going straight down from 29, 25, 20. Within like 10 seconds, it go all the way down to a couple hundred PSI. And as you can see, it's holding the pressure pretty good. So, this truck, I would say this is a fix and I'll show you what where what I changed and so here is where the high pressure sensor here's the common rail this is the number one injector and the sensor is back here it's difficult to see but you can see this this shiny part there on the back of the fuel rail. Yeah, there it is. So that's on the end of the fuel rail. There's a a fuel return line on the back of it. That's a that's a three quarter banjo on it, and that return line just a short line go into the engine block and that is a 5.8 banjo so you would have to take those two off and try to access I use a 29 millimeter socket with a a stubby 
trade uh, impact gun, electric impact gun. It was very difficult to take it out um, with a socket or a wrench. There was no leverage for me to do that. That's just a quick help for you guys who's having that code and you're not sure how to fix it. All right, so hopefully this helps someone. Um, it, it can be, it can be the injector leaking or the the high pressure fuel pump also that's creating that problem. But um, well, actually that code state that is either the injector or that pressure rail pressure relief valve. Now, and see if the injector is leaking physically. But if the injector is leaking fuel, it would leak. That would cause your oil level to get higher. And the oil level never got higher in this truck. In fact, the driver said he had to add all to it between PM. And we do PMs, you know, 10,000 miles. So, by that, I figure, okay, it can't be the injector. It must be the fuel rail pressure relief valve and i've seen that before none of these comments necessarily i've seen it on um other trucks like hino and uh isuzu trucks i've seen it on but never i've never seen it on the comments actually the comments fuel system is pretty good except for these fuel rail tend to break if you notice these are silver and they already changed all of this already all right so hopefully you know this helps someone along the way let me see uh, this is a Cummins ISL 9 and here's the part number for this for this all right good luck guys